Stephen Bavork is here with S&J Associates. I'm back here at the Sherwood Mall with Shua Lowe. Shua, Hi. Welcome to the show. Yeah, welcome. Thank you for having me. Right. Uh, I see it's a good turnout. Yes. You know, very good turnout. It's a, you organize this. And... I help it in some way. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, yes. Great. Great. Um, tell me, what do you think about what's happening right now? What, what are your thoughts on the whole the whole issue? The whole issue. Uh -huh. Well, to be to be honest, right? There is a virus. Okay. Uh, as far as we know, right. it was probably man-made. Like I said, you know, virus don't just jump from animals to humans. So, with the virus, uh, what they're doing is a lot of the uh, government officials. Okay. I'm, I don't want to say which side they are, okay. because you know they're all probably on the same side. But the thing is, it's a way of controlling individuals. The, the longer we control, we I mean government control the citizens. Um, they can actually enforce various things. And one of the things they really want to do is this, this mass vaccination. Right? And I'm pretty sure you guys are all aware, you know, how is it that a virus all of a sudden just comes out in 2019? A couple months down, couple months down the line, there's already a vaccine. Right. And if you start doing a lot of research, this vaccine was already patented in 2000 and I'm going to say 16, 17. But, but it, the official patent wasn't really granted until just recently. Recently. How convenient. How convenient, right? Oh, wow. Now there's, you know, there's, there's a vaccine that we can use now and start testing. So, um, once again, it's a way of controlling people. And I want to let everybody know, you know, we are one nation. We are Americans. And we need to stand together regardless of what side you're on. You can be on the left side, the right side. But, you know, at the end of the day, we still live in America. We need to really understand what's going on with this country and as I keep saying there are individuals that are that want to control us that want to be able to really manipulate how the new government should be structured what is we are being controlled there's forces at work here and I want to say truly the communist has infiltrated America <laughs> and and if you guys like I said, I fled from a country that was actually ruled by communist regimes, and we understand how they work. They will befriend you. They will make you their friend. They will give you everything that you want. At the end, they will pull the rug underneath your feet. And Mr. Cross, what is the message that you want to send to the American people? The message is that you know we, we need to understand what's going on, mm -hmm. and businesses are failing every day if we don't really understand the concept behind it. The, the, the realization is that, you know, we, we have to be able to live normal, right? And what they're trying to tell us that the new normal is not what, we used, what we're used to. We, we need to be able to just live our life, not be in control. The message is to really, under, to look, really tell people to really understand what's going on, and we want our lives back. So I really want to see the city open, the stores open, a lot of the restaurants open, the shopping malls open. We need to work together to make this happen. And by doing this rally, we are showing our governor, showing the entire United States that we are together. We cannot live like this forever, all right? So no more restrictions. Um, just recently, I, I, you brought to my attention, your phone isn't working? No, it's not working. Look, they, they shut it down? I was live streaming just a couple minutes ago on the other side. My phone is not working anymore. So that means there's a lot of things at play that we really have to understand that if you're sending a message that goes against the propaganda, they will block you. They don't want a lot of messages being uh, transmitted over various like Facebook, YouTube, and those are the things that we really have to understand that Facebook is no longer a social network. It's a way of um, sending propaganda messages, right? And if you go against the norm, which is now being isolated in your home, you know, staying away from other people, if you go against that, they will terminate all. I just heard last night Zuckerberg himself made an announcement that anything that's controversial, like you just yes. talked about, they're going to give a warning yeah. on Facebook. See? And <laughs> believe me, I, I have I have so many warnings. Every time I post something that goes against you know the the norm, the norm again that shows that the pop there's a propaganda that you know this is all staged and all this. I get a message from Facebook. Your your post has been removed. Only you can see it. It goes against our our 
community or a community uh, safety, right? Gestapo tactics. Yeah, so interesting, yes. yes. <laughs> okay. Sure, thank you so much for doing right. this. Appreciate that. Yes, thank you guys. All right, Stephen Bohorkis with SJ Associates saying thanks for.